was Harmony's birth father? Adam Montgomery. And uh, how did you meet him? Through a mutual friend. Was he living with you when Harmony was born? No. Was, um, were the two of you living together when Harmony went to live with the uh, Rafferty's? Never. Um, did you ever have any other children with Adam Montgomery? No. At some point in 2019, who got custody of Harmony? Adam. That's Crystal Sorry, Harmony's mother, but also, um, you know, obviously spent time with Adam Montgomery, one of the women in his life. We're going to take a look at some of those women right now. Let's bring in our experts. Joining me in Los Angeles, forensic psychiatrist, trial expert, witness, and columnist, Dr. Carol Lieberman, and in New York, nationally known psychotherapist and host of Talking Live and the Bite Size Podcast, Dr. Robbie Ludwig. Thank you both uh, for being here. Dr. Carol Lieberman, let me begin with you. Crystal Sorry and Adam Montgomery. Obviously, um, they were together for a very short period of time, split up. What are your thoughts about um, the nature of this relationship that ultimately turned into some sort of a, a custody battle of sorts. Yes, well, first of all, what this story shows is the uh, undying allure and mysterious allure of ba bad boys. You know, when you think of all the women that were his girlfriend, that married him, that had children with him, I mean, and, you know, he was an addict, he was a bad guy. And yet he was he managed to have all these women around him. Um, I think Crystal is uh, one of the people who has to take responsibility. I mean, I know she won't legally; it won't turn out that way. But uh, there are a number of people who are responsible for Harmony's death. Um, perhaps Adam, you know, was the last one. Was the, was the one who finally put the stroke, last stroke, uh, on her life. But there were people from from uh, her biological mother to the court to child protective services um, to Kayla, you know, even if she, whether she actually physically did anything to Harmony or not, she was in the car. She could have stopped it. She was just afraid. She was thinking of herself. She didn't want him to hit her. But all of these people um, and institutions need to take responsibility for Harmony's death. Dr. Robbie, what are your thoughts? Uh, Crystal Sorry, at this point, obviously, extremely angry with Adam Montgomery um, mm -hmm. and you could see that on the stand she is someone who went to rehab and seems to have turned things around at this point of her life um, something that Adam was unable to do yeah this is just such a sad story this poor girl was failed by all the adults in her life. And I think, you know, the father clearly was drawn to women like himself who were severely impaired. And Harmony's mother didn't get the opportunity to get clean and then get custody of her daughter. So clearly the state failed Harmony as well. But this is just incredibly sad. I mean, everyone in this story is impaired. Uh, no one has ability to get it together to protect this poor child from harm's way. And this is the worst case scenario in every possible way where no adult was able to save her, not her mother, not her stepmother, not the state, and definitely not her father. Let's listen to some testimony from Kayla Montgomery. This is Adam's wife, Harmony's stepmother. And two different parts of her testimony, and I want to try to reconcile them. Let's take a listen. At some point during that time frame, early 2020, did the defendant begin to suspect that you were informing on him? Yes. What did he suspect that you were informing on him about? About killing Harmony. And what did he do? because of those suspicions? He started abusing me when he would accuse me of talking to police or detectives. He would ask me if I was telling and I would say no. And he would say just to tell him the truth. And 
I wouldn't I wouldn't agree saying that I did. And then I, because he would end up hitting me, and I finally said that I did, even though I didn't. But you still hurt me anyway. You said that he, he ended up hitting you. He would still hurt me anyway. Yes. How did he hurt you, Kayla? By punching me. Where did he punch you? In the head. What did he punch you with, Kayla? His hands. Open hand, closed fist, something else? Both. How often did this happen to you? How often did he do this? Constantly. It just kept happening. What was it like living with him back then, Kayla? It was definitely not good. Do you recognize what's depicted in states, what's marked as States Exhibit 99, Kayla? Yes, it's me with two black eyes. Is that a fair and accurate representation of you on that day? Yes. Do you remember what day this was? March 17th. Is that of 2020 or 2021? 2021. While you were in jail, you sort of thought about your own trouble and maybe how to get out of trouble, right? Not just my own trouble, but okay. What do you mean? I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, you thought about missing the kids, you mean? Their trouble too, because they didn't have their mother? Yeah, and Adam. I was still thinking about Adam, too. Okay. You were thinking about Adam, weren't you? Yeah. And while you were thinking about how to get out of trouble, um, you sort of wrote some of your thoughts down on paper about how to get out of trouble, right? Not how to get out of trouble, just what I was thinking, yes. One of the things... Um, that you wanted was uh, one last time with Adam, right? Right. You wanted one last time to maybe kiss him or make love. Yep. And um, what you didn't write was that you wanted protection from Adam, right? Right. What you didn't write was that you were afraid of Adam, right? Right. Because you didn't want protection from Adam, right? I wasn't thinking about that. Okay. You just wanted to be with him one last time before you, as you put it, betrayed him, right? Yes. Okay, Dr. Carol Lieberman, your thoughts about this uh, complicated relationship, Adam and Kayla? Well, yes, this is typical of a woman who is abused. Um, you know, part of her did love him was a threat, well was attracted to him, um, had uh, sexual feelings towards him, you know, wanted to have that feeling of, of, again, having it be good, like pretending everything is wonderful, you know, and that they're in love and so on, one last time. Um, and of course, you know, she also, she also wants us to believe that she was very fearful of him and so on. But, um, you know, and it is common to have these kind of mixed feelings. There's that, that's, um, that's reasonable, but, I don't know, there is just something not believable about her. Um, you know, supposedly the jury had their arms crossed when she was testifying on cross. And I think the jury was sort of sensing that, that wait a second, you know, maybe I, I shouldn't believe everything she's saying. Dr. Robbie Ludwig, your thoughts about this relationship, Adam Montgomery and Kayla Montgomery. He's pointing the finger at her, she's pointing the finger at him. Um, but they spent a lot of time together, three children together? Well, clearly uh, Kayla was oppositional on the stand and had an attitude. And they both colluded together, uh, even though the father uh, gave the final fist or, or that's what they're trying to discover. But I think Kayla had what's called a trauma bond. And due to probably her own history, she was very bonded to her husband and probably dismissed, minimized, and denied some of his dangerous behavior 
felt very in love with him, wanted to uh, protect him, wanted to be loved by him, and wanted to create the perfect relationship, which he could not create. But I think there's a part of her that did not see the relationship as really damaged because I think she's so damaged. So that's perhaps what we're seeing unfold right here, that she loves her husband, she's standing by him, she did have to betray him, but she's also a very damaged human being. Uh, and I think this traumatic bonding and this relationship reveals how challenging and problematic it was for her and the kids and the family. Dr. Carol Lieberman, how about getting pregnant after Harmony is killed? They have another child together, Kayla and Adam, after Harmony is killed. Your thoughts about that? Oh, you know, it's sort of a fantasy world. Like, they, you know, like a lot of couples think, well, if we have another child, it'll make it all okay. I mean, obviously, they were probably having a lot of sex on, on their drugs and, um, and really weren't able to communicate at a, at a higher level. And that was sort of the way that they kept. I mean, there was a, a push-pull. On the one hand, they wanted to be tightly together. And on the other hand, you know, there were all these things like, like his violence that were getting in the way. Okay, our guests will stay with us. When we come back, we're going to talk about Adam Montgomery's other girlfriend, the one that's with him when he gets questioned and ultimately arrested. Show me your hands. You guys want to code at all? Or you guys good? Keep your hands where I can see them. Step on out. Hey, keep your hands where I can see them. What's going on? What's your name, my man? Uh, Adam. Adam? Hey. You have anything on you? No. Hey. All right, come right over here. What's wrong? I'm just going to hey. patch it up, make sure you don't have any weapons. Put your hands on top of your head, okay? Oh, on top of your head. What's going on, though? Oh, What's the problem, my friend? All right. Who's this in the car with you? My girlfriend. Adam Montgomery living in a car again. Uh, no children, but now a new girlfriend. Um, unbelievable where we are in, in, in all of this. Adam Montgomery, um, Kelsey Small was her name, and you kind of saw her legs there in, in, the, in the front seat. So this is after he had um, moved to Maine and, and returned back down to New Hampshire. Take a look at the screen here, folks. On 12-31-2021, patrol officers were able to make contact with Adam and his new girlfriend, Kelsey Small, together sleeping in a vehicle in the area of Harvell Street in Manchester. Small claimed that she had been romantically involved with Adam for over a year. Small said that she is aware that Adam has three small children from one mother and another child uh, from before that. However, Small said that Adam was not in touch with any child from his prior relationship. Small claimed that Adam has never talked about Harmony and she has no information on where she may be. Here's Kayla Montgomery. Uh, Adam's wife again testifying uh, about Kelsey and Adam and what happened. You were contacted by police in December of 2021, right? Yes. When they talked to you, you told them that as far as you knew, Adam had taken Harmony to his mother's, right? Her mother's, yes. I'm sorry, thank you. And uh, you said that you thought Adam was in Maine? Yes. Um, but you didn't give them a way to get in touch with him? Right. But you got in touch with him? Yes. And you said for him to come back to Manchester? Yes. You said that he needed to deal with this too? Yes. And you said that you were not dealing with it by yourself? Yes. And you said, this is not my fault. Yes. And Adam came when you contacted him. Yes. And he came to Manchester. Yes. But he came to Manchester with a woman. Yes. When Adam showed up with this woman in uh, 
December of 2021 when you called him and told him to come back. Um, you didn't like her. No. I think you called her Thing. Yeah. Uh, but you needed to work with Adam to get through this inf uh, investigation, right? That's not why I was being nice to him. It was not because of this situation. All right, how about the dynamic there, Dr. Robbie Ludwig? Well, the dynamic uh, between the ex-wife and the girlfriend, listen, I, I think I think that Kayla was telling the truth. She was being nice to Adam because she's always wanting to su seduce him back into a relationship that she wants to be connected to him and probably felt a lot of jealousy and rage that he was with this other woman. And also that he was kind of fleeing the scene, like he didn't take responsibility for anything that had gone on, including their children. So uh, one could see where Kayla was coming from. I mean, this is truly a deadbeat dad in every sense of the way. Dr. Carol Lieberman, obviously Kayla not happy with the new girlfriend Kelsey showing up, but take a listen to this part of her testimony. Kayla, do you remember where you were on December 30th, 2021? I was at the family shelter. Do you remember going to a Walmart that day? Yes. Hey, Kayla, I'm showing you what's been marked as State's Exhibit 65 for identification. Yeah. Do you recognize the individuals that are depicted in that image? It's Kelsey, Kelsey, Adam, and myself. And can you point to Adam on that image? Is this a fair and accurate representation of you, Kelsey, and Adam at the Walmart on December 30th of 2021? Yes. Do you go to the Walmart to do? That? To trade phones and for money. Do you remember how many phones you traded in that day? Like three or more. Whose phones did you trade in? Uh, mine and Adam's and I don't know who else. And can you remind us who were you with at the Walmart that day? It was myself, Kelsey, and Adam. Okay, Dr. Lieberman, your thoughts here. They're now going to Walmart. She's with Adam and his new girlfriend, and they're getting some cash for their phones. Oh, you know, this presents another reason why she might, in fact, be betraying Adam. Um, you know, a woman scorned, you know, now that he has this new girlfriend, okay, now I'm not going to stick up for you. I'm not going to uh, pretend that you didn't do anything uh, to harmony. I mean, there could be all of these, all of these reasons uh, going on. It just, it goes back to, though, the importance of custody battles, you know, the importance of custody decisions to really be in the best interest of the child. I've done a number of custody cases as an expert witness, and sometimes you just wonder you know, how they could come to the decision that they come to. And of course, as this is an example, it can have life or death consequences. Now, two and a half months after this, when she's in the car with Adam, um, tragic news for Kelsey Small. This is from WMUR. A woman who was dating Harmony Montgomery's father before his arrest has been found dead in Manchester, police told WMUR. Kelsey Small, who did not face charges in connection with the case, died on March 13th. The death is not considered suspicious and occurred at a hotel, sources said. Uh, News 9 obtained uh, police records that show Small was arrested outside a sober home where she was living and charged with DUI, a second offense. She was released on a personal recognizance bail and due in court the next week. Five days later, she's found dead in a hotel room. Dr. Robbie Ludwig, a, a, a tragic end for Kelsey Small. And, you know, very sad. living Very sad. this type of life. She goes, she's living a nice life 
in Maine with her family and everything else. Hooked up with Anna Montgomery. She ends up, you know, dead in a, in a hotel. Well, uh, many of the women that Adam was with, they seem to be drug addicts, very self-hating, self-destructive women, masochistic. And we see the varying degrees in which they harm themselves and, and ruin their lives. It sounds like the ex-wife who was with him or the first Harmony's mother was with him for the least amount of time and actually um, regrouped or is regrouping. But this is who Adam was drawn to, you know, these very uh, troubled women. Those are the women who would have him. And, and be Dr. Blinded by him. Dr. Carol Lieberman, we only have about 20 seconds left here, but do you think this is a case where they find each other, the, the people with drug issues, or does one influence the other, or do they kind of fuel each other because they, you know, are, have that comp something in common? Well, yes, the drugs, of course, is, are a big factor. But, you know, women who go for bad boys are women who have had dysfunctional relationships with their fathers. And depending upon what that was like, they're attracted to a certain type of bad boy. And so it's not, I don't think it's just to blame, you can't really just blame the women. I mean, they, they find each other because of things from their childhood. Dr. Carol Lieberman, Dr. Robbie Ludwig, great insight. Your time is valuable and we appreciate it. Thank you so much.